Greetings, beloved family. We are so joyful to be here with you. And these indeed are the most marvelous, wondrous, miraculous of times that planet Earth has ever seen. And I tell you that because it is for you to step into the knowing not just the intellectual knowing, but it is to open your hearts as well. In fact, it is where your hearts are, to do the thinking in this new world, in this golden age. Now we will say this we understand that this is a delicate time for many of you because you are having imbalances occurring in your lives. It can be within your own beings, it can be what you see around you, within your families, or the world as a whole. All is not as it appears to be. And yet there is still a lot of what you call fear in the world, and we call this false evidence appearing real. Now you have heard the Great One say, all the world's a stage, and this has never been more true because there is acting and acting out going on on every level of this planet's existence, below, on and above. But, the big shift is happening because you have stepped up and said, let's get it done. Now, we know. We know that the fear-based programs have been increasing, increasing, increasing throughout millennia, and there have been many attempts by those running those programs to, shall we say, extinguish the lights of love upon this planet. Many, many, many people have left their bodies and a lot of them through violence. And, of course, this just promotes and enhances and supports even more fear upon the planet. We have discussed this before in detail, so this is very brief but, nevertheless, if you will take the high road and take a look at the events of 9 to 11, and 9 to 11 was perpetrated primarily to stop the announcement of Nizera, which was to have been done that morning from the World Trade Center. Additional communication centers had been set up. Oh, I shall say, it was to be done from that area in the Pentagon which had been all roped off, supposedly for renovations, so that the Navy, and the Navy SEALs in particular, could set up a center where the announcement would originate from. The towers contained the computers with the all-new banking system set up. Of course, they were destroyed. There was a major communication center in that rather obscure location in Pennsylvania. Obscure, if you can allow the fact that it had a big X target painted on it. At any rate, all participants in 9 to 11 did grand service to the world because they brought forth many, many issues. Among them was to take a look at fear, to meet it right in the face. How do you like the Patriot Act and all that has come from that? Now that was designed to do one thing and that was to control control with intimidation, control with fear. And look at where you are now. You are actually in the process, not only of transformationally transmuting your own bodies, but you are thinking with your hearts and you are sending love to the very ones who committed this we will call it a treasonous act, that is a good definition for it, isn't it? And that is not a judgment. That is simply what it is. It was designed to throw you into fear, but you are throwing off the fear. The planet is getting lighter and brighter in every moment, in every nanosecond. And it's because you're doing what you're doing. Now, we know that it's a mixed bag. We like that expression. That explains a lot, doesn't it? And we know that some of you have been feeling like you've been put into that bag and you're getting all shaken up in all of your beings. And that's a very appropriate picture to paint for you. But we will tell you this, it's all coming out high vibrational, high dimensional, fabulous energy. It is the energy of change, and you are re-energizing yourselves with it. And you are moving into the understanding that your primary mission that you came in here to do is shall we say, a much honored participant in the changes that are coming and that are already in progress is to be in the expression of love. On planet Earth there are many, many definitions of love. I personally like the one that Sananda gave when he came into the body of Yeshua, and his definition is simplicity itself and it says, love is the opposite of fear. Now, you'll find that in his course asterisk if you are interested in looking it up to make sure that Ashta got the quote just right. But I did. So what I am telling you is, the more that you go for love and we're talking about high dimensional love high dimensional love is unconditional. It is eternal. It is infinite. It is able to be accessed from the realms of light. It has nothing to do with wanting or needing anything. It has to do with being fully, 
fully initiated into your own divinity and from there accessing that love for whatever loving purpose you have. Now, this kind of love can exist in any relationship, so long as the relationship has no fear in it. You see, fear is the darkness. It's how you can feel so alone and so afraid in the middle of the dark night, for instance. Love shines into that darkness, if you will bring it in and do that radiate it and it dispels fear. You have heard the example. You have two rooms, side by side, with a door connecting them. The door is closed. One room has the lights turned on, the other room is in the dark. What happens when you open the door? Does the dark move into that lighted room like some kind of a fog, an evil mist? No, of course not. The light comes into the dark room. So, wherever you find any bit of darkness of the kind I'm referring to I'm not talking about, you know, the color black or anything like that. I'm talking about where you perceive darkness in the world, where you feel fear emanating from anyone or from within your own divine selves. That is the 3D illusion that has been the motivating catalyst throughout, oh, the 13,000 past years in your history slash history on planet Earth fear, lots and lots of fear. And you have had grand teachers, some of them known, most of them not known elders, wise ones, little babies born with the light shining through their hearts. Throughout your history slash history you have had these beings of light. What do you think they came here to do? They came to illuminate the darkness, to light it up, and to dispel the fears that really were creating that darkness. Whenever a person is in fear, their light shines a little less brightly, because fear dims the brightness. It doesn't mean that the lights are completely out. Do not believe that of anyone in a human body. Everyone in human body has a light somewhere. And so it is, as we say, to fan the flames of that light and amp it up. And that not only dispels fear, but it raises everybody up to where you're already headed. There is no turning back. Now you can opt out as an individual, if you want to, and simply not allow that light to come in, and you can go to the old planet Earth and experience more 3D stage acting, if you choose to do that. I personally don't recommend it. The Ashta Command is here to facilitate everyone's journey into the higher realms, and the journey starts with your 3D self and most of you aren't really 3D anymore anyway. I will share that nugget of brightness with you. It is to continue to move up and as you do, as you shine forth, you are lighting up whatever is dark beyond your own divine selves. So let's dispel fear by lighting it up, showing it for what it is with love, the energy of love and along with it that compassion and that forgiveness that the masters have just spoken of. Because if you feel fear when you observe someone else who is carrying darkness, or perhaps expressing darkness in any way when you feel fear, you are, let's just say, subjecting yourself to the dimming of your own brightness. Now you don't want to do that, do you? Sometimes it happens, but it is to remember who you are, to get into your heart spaces, and let those thoughts that come from there carry you through completely along your paths. You know, Sananda sometimes does some sessions, and he always shows a vision of a timeline that is easily seen. And we tell you this from this now moment along your future of your timelines, you will find that it looks like it ends in a bright blaze of golden white light. What do you think that is? No, it's not that you're getting nuked or anything like that. It is your ascension into the light so that you become completely one with the light. Now, that's not happening overnight in very many cases, because you've got the golden age to enjoy. And so it is that Nizara, the announcement of Nizara because it is already law Nizara will officially open the golden age. And I promise you, that is such a fabulous miraculous, if you will change in the way of the lifestyles of planet Earth. Well, I'll just say, stay tuned. It's not something you really want to miss if you are in tune in your hearts and know that you are committed to assisting in its bringing forth. And by the way, let's get that petition where people can find it. Shall we? We want that Nizara petition signed because you're opening your hearts. The times have changed there was a day when they might not have been. Although, this Ashta on the road group initiated a petition for that several years ago. It didn't go very far. Well, I will tell you this the people receiving these petitions are listening now, 
and they know that they cannot ignore it, because Nizara is going to light up the world in a way that will be the grandest celebration. And it is for everyone, it is not just for the United States of America. It is for the entirety of the world. And it opens the way for the Golden Age lifestyle to proceed in all aspects. So, sign that petition, beloved Fran will make it available. Sign IT. Let's get on with IT. Raise your voices from your hearts, let your lights shine forth. We're in this together. We are partnering together and we thank and honor all of you, beloved family, beloved commanders, beloved crewmates, brothers and sisters of Ashta on the road. And so it is. We thank you from our hearts to yours. Salad. Asterisk A Course in Miracles, published by the Foundation for Inner Peace.